I'm Colin Houston. I'm a vegetable farmer in Tasmania. I've been farming for 30 years. We're farming on a greenfield site now with my son Ben and his partner Amy. The name of the company is Southern Fields and we grow icebergs and coz for Tasmania. So we've been in search of good soil and water for a long time until we found this particular farm which was a dryland sheep farm with good soil. Stage 3 South East Irrigation Scheme was on the drawing board and I spent four years with everybody else to try and get water to actually happen and it did. And we're growing the first crops now on the property. So the soil is basalt soil, organic carbon levels around the 5% which is unheard of in this district. Challenges now is to keep our crops good, keep the soils good, keep it sustainable and move forward in the future with a great business. So we're growing ryegrass, sorghum and some BQ mulch crops just for soil health. We will be looking in the future of growing some commercial crops which will be good for the soil as well. And we've also bought another farm next door so that in the future we never have to push the soils too hard. And it actually pays in the end anyway because you get better pack outs, better crops, better shelf life and a better lifestyle. We're working very closely with some exciting new methods of agronomy started off thinking of beyond the square when we worked with Paul Horn on the IPM for the above ground, but now we're looking at below ground IPM and how we get the nutrition right and how we feed the right pathogens in the soil with each of the bad pathogens which make the disease less. So it's so exciting to work all that out. We've got a dripper trial here to see if we can get less disease by having no leaf wetness. So all those things to combine are making it better for the crops and better for the soils. We're doing so much more than we used to in the past with nutrition and fertilizers and how we use the fertilizers. Little things like we're not using as much nitrogen now because we're using the elements that the plants require better. So now we're getting the leaves more robust, less disease. So we're using a lot of fertilizers and a lot of lime initially because it's a green field site. But once we get our base levels up and getting their balances right that the plants require and you understand why they need it when they need it, you're actually using less because we're not wasting anything. I feel like I'm cheating now because it's easier in good soils. The more people can read the data that we're doing, the more people come along and give us advice on where we should go after that. If we can make this farm into an ideal farm that's commercially viable, now the people can follow. Eddie Fagan and, and the boys up at Cowra have proven that over the last few years. They've got so passionate about what they're doing. So really doing it by example. It's all about the next generation, isn't it? When you're passionate about things like agriculture, like I am and my son are, and we just look for the future. Without water, you've got nothing. Without good soils, it's harder. Just because it hasn't got water, we shouldn't be building on it or ruining our soils because we'll need it. This area is a prime example. Couldn't grow anything. But now this whole area's got water and they've all got good soils. So that'll be feeding people in the future. Australia-wide, we should be looking after our good soils. <laughs>